Okay, so in the previous video, we downloaded a text file from the web using this URL that, here. And we have now launched our app, so we have a text file stored at this URL right here. So now we are going to access this file. We are first of all going to read it, and then we are going to write to it. So I'm just going to comment reading and writing. And now we are going to uh, need to access this file and to access it we need the URL to this file so we're going to say let path is equal to and it's stored in our file manager dot default and we're going to access URLs so we're going to have an array return to us for dot documents directory in dot user domain mask are simply going to say first uh, as we want the first one then we need a do statement here so let's write do because we're going to try to do something and then handle an error if an error is an error occurs but let's first get our uh, all the urls that we that we have from our from our um, directory so let file urls is equal to try let's see if it wants to help me here file manager then I'm just going to have to try to type it out here. File manager dot default um, dot contents of directory. And then we're going to access it at our path. Uh, we're probably going to need to force unwrap it here. And then we can, that should really be it. So first of all, we're going to try to read the text. Read, whoops, read the text. And I now see why it didn't want to help me here, because we need to move all of this into our view did load function, else nothing much is going to happen. So just paste it in here inside the view did load function. And now it's probably going to work much better here. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, let's see, uh, incorrect. So I probably need, let's see, um, including properties for keys is equal to nil. You are probably going to have an auto suggestion here, so you can just uh, choose that. So first of all, we are going to read the text, and the way we read the text is, I'm just going to write it out here, is equal to text content, for example, is equal to try, and we are going to convert it to a string, that which we get as a result, and we want the contents of and we want the contents of URL and we also want some encoding here. So the contents of the URL, we want uh, the content store at our file URLs array. And it's going to contain a bunch of URLs or might, but because we only have our text file, we know that it's going to be the first one. And as an encoding, uh, so that we are able to read it, we're going to use UTF-8. So now, all should be set to go. We're just going to print the results that we get at text content. And now let's try to launch our application once again. But before we do that, we just need to handle our errors here. So let's quickly write a catch statement uh, just like this. And we can print error. That's a beautiful error handling system right there. And we just launch our application and now we can read what's in the file. So let's go back and see what we got. And as we expected here, we have the contents of our file, which is, this is a file that was downloaded from a website, the swiftguide.com, which is exactly what I wrote into the file. We also, uh, which we probably should have commented this out because we tried to download the file one more time and store it at the same place, which obviously didn't work because we're trying to save it under the same name. So now we can comment out this piece of code right here because that is no longer going to be needed because we're only going to work with the file that we already have. So we can launch it one more time and then we won't get uh, that uh, error message. And we can just take a look at one more time. Again here, this is a file that was downloaded from the website is the message that is in the text file. So that is what we have right now. But we also want to be able to change this piece of text. We want to add something to it. We want to write something else to the text file. Now the way we do that is instead of only reading the text, we can write text. So let's do that. And the way we do that is we're going to have some new text 
which is going to be um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the text that we already have in our text file and then I'm going to add uh, here is some some oh, here's some more uh, here is some more text for you period uh, and that is what we're going to append to our already existing file so this text is what we are going to add to the file we're going to what we're actually doing is we're clearing the file and we're adding this new piece of text but because we want uh, the text that is already in the file we access that the text is already there and then we simply add something here and now we're going to write that to our file and the way we do that is we say try new text dot write and we want to write it to our URL and the URL we want to write it to is our file URLs and again the first one because we only have one file automatically I'm just going to say false here and encoding again we are going to use the same encoding uh, UTF-8 and that should be it but now we have written to the text file but we also want to read the text one more time to see if the change has been made so reading a second time down here and we can simply copy paste all of this down here and I'm going to call it text content 2 and text content 2. So let's try to launch this and we should first have a reading of the text the first time. Then we alter the text and then we, re we read it a second time. So we should have two statements here. The first one being this is a file that was downloaded from a website. And the second time this is a file that was downloaded from a website, the swiftguide.com. Here is some more text for you. So of course you can also upload a file that doesn't contain all of this uh, good stuff here. But this is how uh, you do it. This is how you first of all download a file. Then this is how you um, read the text of a file and then how you write text to that same file. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video. This uh, two part video is probably what it's going to be. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you did like it. And then I will see you back in the next video. As always, thank you for watching.